Let's take you out to the tropics this morning. Uh, we're your hurricane headquarters here on uh, Bryce High on 10 Tampa Bay. So we're going to take a quick look out there. Not much going on. You can obviously see some thunderstorm activity. This is associated with a trough of low pressure that is producing some showers and thunderstorms. We've been talking about this all week long. It still only has a 10% chance of development, but it continues to track to the east farther and farther out into the Atlantic, so no real concerns there. But here we are standing halfway through the month of October, and we've had 20 named storms so far this year. In fact, this was the forecast, and one of the reasons that the forecasters were, were suggesting that we could see an active season was because of the expected development of La Nina. And up until yesterday, that was just the forecast. But officially yesterday, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration came out and said, yeah, uh, La, Nino has, uh, La Nina has developed and it is here. And it all starts in the eastern equatorial Pacific. When the water there off the coast of South America and then out over the equatorial Pacific begin to become a little bit cooler than normal, we watch specifically this region called the Nino 3.4 region. And if the average temperature over a series of three months drops below about 0.5 degrees Celsius below normal, that's when officially a La Nina pattern will be declared. So we'll watch those waters and that sets a domino effect in the atmosphere to produce actually global impacts. Now, La Nina is the opposite of El Nino. El Nino is the warm phase of this when those waters are warmer than normal. It's a natural occurrence where they sway back and forth every couple of years or so. Now, a El Nino pattern would typically give us a cooler and wetter winter. It also increases the wind shear in the tropical Atlantic and that reduces hurricane activity. But again, the opposite phase is La Nina and we see less wind shear in the tropical Atlantic. That allows for more hurricanes, more tropical storms to develop. But in terms of our winter forecast, La Nina patterns typically give us drier and warmer conditions through the winter months into early spring. Guys?